Hello students, welcome to the class. So in the previous class, we have discussed some set of questions. Now we are going to discuss the last set of questions of this topic. Hope you have practiced well with all the concepts. Which one of the following pairs of species have same bond order? Again, the question on molecular orbital theory, O2, NO plus, CN minus, CO, N2, O2 minus, CO, NO. So here they have given examples on, they have given us examples on heteronuclear diatomic molecules as well as homonuclear diatomic molecules. So let us work out on it and see. Yes, the first pair what they have given is O2. Oxygen has got 8 electrons, so 8 plus 8 is 16, correct? So let us fill the molecular orbitals. Sigma 1 is Sigma 1 S2, Sigma star 1 S2, Sigma 2 S2, Sigma star 2 S2. Then after for oxygen, after uh, Sigma star 2 S2, which one we should use? We should use Sigma 2 P Z2. Then comes Pi 2 P X2 equal to Pi 2 P Y2. Yes, we have to first uh, see whether 16 electrons are done. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Therefore, Pi star. 2px equal to pi star 2py. I need two more electrons. Therefore, one electron here, one electron here. Therefore, calculate the bond order. The bond order is equal to bonding electrons 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 10 minus 2, 4, and 5, 6. So 10 minus 6 by 2. That is the bond order. It is nothing but that is number of bonding electrons minus number of antibonding electrons divided by 2. So 4 by 2 is nothing but 2. So bond order comes out to 2. After oxygen, the one more ion they have given is NO+. plus. So nitrogen has got 7 electrons. Oxygen has got 8 electrons. 15 plus means what? Removal of 1 electron. Therefore, again, 14. So I can write sigma 1 S2, sigma star 1 S2, sigma 2 S2, sigma star 2 S2. After sigma star 2 S2, again, oxygen is there. Sigma 2 P z2 then pi 2 p x2 equal to pi 2 p y2 okay let us count 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 yes it's done therefore i will calculate the bond order here only bonding electrons 2 4 6 8 10 10 minus antibonding are 4 by 2 so it is 6 by 2 that is equal to 3 bond order is 3 for the first pair so it is not same one is two and one is three. The next option is CN minus and it is one more is CO. Okay. So CN minus means how many electrons? Carbon is six, nitrogen is seven, 13 electrons. Minus means what? Addition of one electron. So it becomes 14. So sigma one S2, sigma star one S2, sigma two S2, sigma star two S2. Since it is C and N, pi two PX comes first. Pi 2px equal to pi 2py. So I'll write two two electrons here. Then sigma 2pz2. Let us count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. Bond order is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 minus 4 by 2. The bond order is 3. Carbon monoxide. Yes. So carbon monoxide, carbon is there. 6 plus 8, 14 electrons again. So sigma 1 S2, sigma star 1 S2, sigma 2 S2, sigma star 2 S2. Then pi 2 P X 2 equal to pi 2 P Y 2 and then sigma 2 P Z 2. Correct. Bond order will be equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 minus 4 by 2. So it is 3. 10 minus 4 by 2 is 3. So in both the cases, bond order is 3. So probably this might be the answer, but we have to verify for other options also. So next one given is N2 and O2 minus. So sorry, it is O2 minus. 
okay we already know for o2 o2 is this o2 minus means what addition of one electron so one electron will be added here so here it becomes rest all remains the same it becomes pi star 2p x2 equal to pi star 2p y1 rest all remains same as for o2 right so bond order for o2 i'm calculating uh, 2 4 6 8 10 10 2 4 6 seven correct by 2 3 by 2 is how much 1.5 n2 we will write it for n2 sigma 1s2 14 electrons sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then for nitrogen first comes pi 2p x2 equal to pi 2p y2 then sigma 2p z2 so 2 4 6 8 10 10 bond order 10 minus 4 by 2 6 by 2 is again how much 3 for nitrogen correct last option given is co and no co we already know how much it is bond order is 3 no no we have done right no plus we have done so no so no will be what i will write here sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 then oxygen is there sigma 2 p z2 pi 2 p x2 equal to pi 2 p y2 then pi star 2 p x1 equal to pi star 2 p y0 because there is only one electron required so nitrogen 7 oxygen 8 15 electrons right so here there are 15 electrons required 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14 and 15 so it is zero here now calculate the bond order 2 4 6 8 10 10 so bond order will be 10 minus 2 4 5 so 10 minus 5 by 2 it is 2.5 2.5 yes so this is bond order so which is the correct option it is option b where cn minus and co are having same bond order they are having same bond order so cn minus and co they have same bond order which of the following is paramagnetic okay just now we have done we have done here all the options are present here itself let us see of uh, which the first option is cn minus okay this is the option they have given so let us see here cn minus the, what do we mean by paramagnetic paramagnetic means the there should be in the molecular orbital there should be unpaired electron okay see this is paired it is paired it is paired so it is paired so cn minus is what it is diamagnetic correct it is diamagnetic okay let us observe second no plus is given fine no plus all the electrons are paired here they are paired here also they are paired so no plus is also what it is also diamagnetic correct then third option is co yes it is there here co it is having paired electrons paired yes it is also what it is also diamagnetic last option is o2 minus i will write it here only let us see okay o2 o2 minus means what there will be 17 electrons correct o2 minus means there will be 17 electrons o2 means 16 so o2 minus means there will be 17 electrons sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 sigma 2p z2 pi 2p x2 pi 2p y2 so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 then pi star 2px equal to pi star 2py so here for o2 this is correct o2 minus means here two electrons come therefore it is having what it is having one unpaired electron in its molecular orbital therefore i say it is what it is paramagnetic it is paramagnetic it is paramagnetic right okay So it is O two minus is what it is paramagnetic. Moving to the next question, the pair of species that has the same bond order in the following. Yes, again, so CO and NO plus, NO minus CN minus O two and N two, O two and B two. 
again please these are just the practice questions you can say you can write them and practice them so i'm taking it again and again co and no plus okay let us see carbon 6 electrons oxygen 8 so total of 14 nitrogen 7 electrons oxygen how many 8 electrons 15 plus 1 means what minus 1 so therefore there will be 14 electrons and both will have same configuration yes or no so because uh, both of them contain oxygen so sigma 2 pz will be written for first so i can say here oxygen 6 electrons plus 8 electrons equal to 14 nitrogen 7 electrons plus oxygen 8 electrons plus 1 means minus 1 therefore it is equal to 14 electrons so if you see electronic configuration of co sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 i'm sorry sigma 2 p z 2 pi 2 p x equal to pi 2 p y so how many 14 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 so this is done i know plus also comes with the same configuration yes because oxygen is there so i'll write same everything comes out to be same calculate the bond order bond order is equal to bonding electrons 2 4 6 8 10 so 10 minus 4 by 2 10 minus 4 is 6 6 by 2 is 3 in both the cases the bond order is 3 both the cases bond order is 3 it is 3 therefore they have got same bond order now what if we have no minus and cn minus no nitrogen for no is uh, 7 plus uh, 8 15 minus 1 means plus 1 16 electrons so here there are 16 electrons cn carbon is 6 6 plus 7 13 14 electrons so both are having different number of electrons means what bond order will surely differ yes sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 sigma 2 p z2 pi 2 p x equal to pi 2 p y both will have two two electrons 16 means pi star also comes there pi star 2 p x equal to pi star 2 p y so let us count 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 so 16 means one electron here one electron here calculate the bond order bond order 2 4 6 8 10 10 minus 2 4 6 by 2 so it is how much 4 by 2 is nothing but 2 cn sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 pi 2 p x 2 pi 2 p y 2 sigma 2 p z 2 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 mm -hmm. yes so bond order 2 4 6 8 10 minus 4 by 2 so it is 6 by 2 equal to 3 so bond order is not same third option o2 and n2 both will differ both will have different bond order right oxygen is 16 n2 nitrogen is 14 so sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 oxygen sigma 2 p z2 pi 2 p x 2 equal to pi 2 p y2 then pi star 2 p x to pi star 2 p y how many electrons let us verify 2 4 sorry 2 4 6 8 10 10 minus 2 4 6 sorry here there is 1 1 so 10 minus 6 by 2 is how much it is 4 by 2 that is equal to 2 so it should have 16 electron 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 16 yes and 2 sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 then pi 2 p x 2 equal to pi 2 p y 2 then sigma 2 p z 2 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 done so 2 4 6 8 10 10 bonding electrons minus 4 anti bonding by 2 so it is 3 bond order is not same so in the first option only the bond order is same last option is o2 and b2 so o2 is already there boron 5 atomic number 10 electrons so sigma 1 s2 sigma star 1 s2 sigma 2 s2 sigma star 2 s2 then 
pi 2px equal to pi 2py. Let us see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Correct? So this is the configuration. So bonding electrons 2, 4, 6 minus antibonding are 4 by 2. So 2 by 2, 1. Bond order is 1. Correct? This is paramagnetic in nature. You can see here. So which is the correct option? The correct option is CO and NO plus. They have got same bond order because number of electrons are same. They have got same bond order. Number of electrons are same. Moving to the next question. In which of the following ionization process, the bond energy increases and magnetic behavior changes from paramagnetic to diamagnetic? Okay, O2 to O2 plus, C2 to C2 plus, NO to NO plus, N2 to N2 plus. So they are asking when there is loss of electron, where the bond energy changes. Okay, let us consider how to, this is a different question asked. First option is O2 to O2 plus. So O2 has how many electrons? It has 16 electrons. Okay. Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2. Then last is pi star. 2px1 equal to pi star 2py1. Correct? What is the bond order? 2, I'll write it directly. 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 minus 6 by 2. So it is 4 by 2. Bond order is 2. Bond order is 2. And it is paramagnetic. When O2 changes to O2 plus. Correct? So they have said O2 to O2 plus. So O2 plus means what? One electron lost, 15. Correct? Rest all seem, remains the same. What changes is pi star 2px. One electron goes from here. So it becomes pi star 2px equal to pi star 2py0. So bond order will be what? Bond order will be uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 minus 2, 4, 5. 5 by 2. It is 2.5, correct? And it is still paramagnetic. Okay. Second option given is C2 to C2 plus. C2. So C2 carbon 6, 6, 12 electrons. Okay. So sigma 1 S2, sigma star 1 S2, sigma 2 S2, sigma star 2 S2, pi 2 px2 equal to pi 2 py2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Done with the electrons. So bond order 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 by 4 is 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 by 2 is 2. And it is diamagnetic. Because there are no unpaired electrons. C2 to C2 plus. So it is 11 electrons. One electron loss. So everything remains the same. Pi 2px will have two electrons, whereas pi 2py will have only one electron because one electron should be removed. Bond order 2, 4, 6, 7. 7 minus 2, 4. 7 minus 4 by 2. It is 3 by 2. It is 1.5. Correct? Right? This is 1.5. Third option. And it is what? It is paramagnetic. Third option is NO to NO plus. NO, nitrogen 7, oxygen 8, 15 electrons. Sigma 1 S2, sigma star 1 S2, sigma 2 S2, sigma star 2 S2, sigma 2 P Z2, pi 2 P X2 equal to pi 2 P Y2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Here nitrogen 7, and oxygen 8, so it is 15 electrons. Pi star 2px1. Yes, it will have 1. Bond order 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 minus 2, 4, 5. 10 minus 5 by 2 is 5 by 2 and that is equal to bond order is 2.5 and it is paramagnetic. Okay. Last NO, NO to NO 
plus they have said okay so no plus means what 14 electrons everything remains same only this part does not come so bond order will be what 2 4 6 8 10 10 minus 4 by 2 it is 6 by 2 6 by 2 is 3 correct the last option given is n2 to n2 plus n2 to n2 plus nitrogen 14 electrons Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2. 14? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yes. Bond order 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 minus 4 by 2 is 6 by 2 and that is equal to 3. It is diamagnetic. N2 plus means what? 13 electrons. That means here there will be a change. 2px2 equal to pi 2py1. Okay. So bond order 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 9 minus how many antibonding? 2, 4. 9 minus 4 by 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 by 2 is 2.5 and it is paramagnetic. Now the question is ionization process in which of the following ionization process, so they are changing, energy, bond energy increases and magnetic behavior changes from paramagnetic to diamagnetic. First, let us see where it is changing from paramagnetic to diamagnetic. So in first option, it is paramagnetic and here also it is paramagnetic only. Second option, it is diamagnetic to paramagnetic, doesn't make a difference. Third option, it is paramagnetic, this will not come, that means it becomes diamagnetic. So, this is expected magnetic behavior. It is changing from paramagnetic to diamagnetic. Okay. Last option, diamagnetic to paramagnetic. So, this is correct option for magnetic behavior. Second thing, what? Energy, bond energy increases. How bond energy increases? Here, we have bond order. As bond order increases, as bond order increases, the atoms will come closer. So, bond length decreases. Therefore, bond energy increases. Correct? So, as bond order increases, the bond energy increases. Here, bond order is 2. Here, it is 2.5. Bond energy will increase. Yes, here it, so it will increase. But it is not having magnetic behavior proper. Bond order is 2, 1.5. A bond energy will decrease here. Third case, it is having magnetic property. From 2.5, it is becoming 3. Yes, in this case, bond order is increasing. Therefore, bond energy also will increase. And it is also showing the magnetic behavior from paramagnetic to diamagnetic. Last option, the bond order is decreasing. And it is not showing any magnetic proper magnetic behavior also. So, which is the correct option? It is option C. It is option C. So, correct option is option C. NO2, NO plus there is change, a bond order increases in the ionization process and there is change in paramagnetic behavior to diamagnetic behavior, correct? During the pairs of species with the same bond order, which species have same bond order? Just now we have written so many. I will write here, if you take O2 minus 2. Okay, we have not come across O2 minus 2, right? See, I'll give you Regarding oxygen, I will give you all the bond orders. Just see here. O2 is already there, so I will not clear my drawing. Okay, fine. So, O2 is 16. So, this is the uh, bond order. Bond order is 2. O2 plus means what? One electron less and this is the correct format. O2 minus. Yes, O2 minus. So, O2 minus means what? 16 electrons for O2 minus means 17 electrons. This all remains same. There is only change here. Pi 2px, pi star 2px1 equal to pi star 2py1 is there. For O2, 16 electrons. 17 means one electron more. Therefore, it becomes pi star 2px2 equal to pi star 2py1. So, bond order will be what? Bonding electrons 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 minus antibonding 2, 4, 
6 is 7. 10 minus 7 by 2 is 3 by 2. It is 1.5. Okay. Next. So, O2 minus is 1.5. Then we have O2 plus. We, O2 plus we have seen the bond order is 2.5. Next is O2 minus 2. Minus 2. Minus 2 means what? Gain of 2 electrons. Oxygen has 16. Minus 2 means 18. So, look at this configuration. Entirely it remains same. Here it is pi star 2p x1 equal to pi star 2p y1 for oxygen. Minus 2 means gain of 2 electrons. So, 2 electrons, 2 electrons. So, 1 electron, 1 electron added. It becomes 2, 2. Bond order. There is no change in bonding electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Antibonding. 2, 4, 6, 8. So, 10 minus 8 by 2 is 2 by 2 and that is equal to 1. That is equal to 1. So, these are the ions for oxygen. O2, you can take O2 plus 2 also. Plus 2 means what? O2 means 16. Plus 2 means loss of 2 electrons. So, it is 14. What will happen? Loss of this entire outermost shell goes. Only this comes. Only this comes. So, this is lost. Therefore, what will? So, it will be 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, sigma 2pz2, then pi 2px2 equal to pi 2p by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. What will be the bond order? The bond order will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 minus 4 by 2 and that is equal to 6 by 2 that is equal to 3. Correct? So, observe here. Observe. O2 bond order is 2. O2 plus bond order is 2.5. O2 minus bond order is 1.5. O2 minus 2 bond order is 1. O2 plus 2 bond order is 3. I will write them in the increasing order, which is having least bond order. Tell me. The least bond order is 1.5. O2 minus 2. Sorry, O2 minus 2 is having bond order 1. Correct? So, this is less. Second is what? 1.5. What is second? 1.5. O2 minus. Then, it is 2. That is O2. Then comes what? 2.5. O2 plus. And last is what? O2 plus 2. Please do remember this. Bond order of O2 minus 2 is 1. O2 minus is 1.5. O2 is 2. O2 plus is 2.5. And O2 plus 2 is 3. Yes? Correct or no? And we know also, this is having larger size. So, bond order is less. And bond energy also will be less. This is having smaller size. Bond order is more. Bond energy also will be more. So, whatever we have done calculations is absolutely right. Please do remember this concept. Please do remember the bond order of all the oxygen atom molecule it might be. Or it might be oxygen ion. Or it might be oxygen ion. Okay. Then same works out for nitrogen also. Try it out for nitrogen. 14 electrons. N2. Yes. So, try it out for nitrogen also. You will get all the bond orders. You have to remember this rather than sitting and working because this is not going to change. See, what is not going to change is better to memorize because this will never change, right? Bond order O2, it will fix. So, it will be fixed molecular orbital uh, configuration and bond order also will be fixed. And you can speak about magnetism property also. This is paramagnetic. This is also paramagnetic. This is also paramagnetic. This is O2 minus 2 is diamagnetic. O2 minus 2 and O2 plus 2 are diamagnetic. Rest all are paramagnetic. Correct? O2 minus 2 and O2 plus 2 are diamagnetic. Rest all are paramagnetic. Okay? So, with this understanding, they have given us the options. Let's, let us see which option holds true. So, out of all the uh, oxygen molecular ions, O2 minus 2 and O2 plus 2 are paramagnetic. Then what they have given? They have given B2. B2, boron 5, 10 electrons. Sigma 1, S2, sigma star 1, S2, sigma 2, S2, sigma star 2, S2, pi 2, P, X1 equal to pi 2, P, Y1. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 electrons, 2, 4, 6, 6 minus 2, 4 by 2, it is 1. B2 has bond order 1 
and one more option they have given is O2 minus. O2 minus has got bond order one. So O2 minus two and B2, they have bond order equal to one. Bond order is one. Next options you can see O2 plus. O2 plus, what is the bond order of O2 plus? O2 plus bond order is 2.5. One more option is NO plus. We have worked, NO plus bond order is three. We have worked in the previous answer. Next option, this is second option. Third option given is NO and CO. The bond order in NO is 2.5 and in CO it is three. Carbon monoxide, it is three. Last option, N2 and O2. O2 is how much bond order? It is 2. N2 bond order is 3. We know this. Yes, N2 bond order is 3. So where bond order is same, it is in first option. The bond order is same. Bond order is same. Is that right? So it is O2 minus 2 and B2 bond order is same. During the change of O2 to O2 minus, the electron adds on which of the following orbitals? In the configuration, if you are not so uh, correct with, with this, during the addition or uh, during the change from O2 to O2 minus 16 and 17 electrons, correct? So here, sigma 1 s2, sigma star 1 s2, sigma 2 s2, sigma star 2 s2, sigma 2pz2 pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2 pi star 2px equal to pi star 2py i will fill according 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 16 okay then this is how many minus minus 1 means 17 electrons so sigma 1 s2, sigma star 1 s2, sigma 2 s2, sigma star 2 s2, sigma 2 p z2, pi 2 p x2 equal to pi 2 p y2, pi star 2 p x, there is one electron, pi star 2 p y, there is one electron, minus one means addition of one electron, both are half filled, so this will be filled. So it is filled in which orbital? It is filled in pi star. 2px, pi star 2px. So, which is the correct option? So, the electron is filled in pi star 2px orbital. It is filled in pi star 2px orbital. Four diatomic species are listed below. Identify the correct order in which the bond order is increasing in them. We have seen what is the bond order of NO. It is 2.5. We have seen this. Bond order of O2 minus is how much? Bond order of O2 minus is 1.5. Bond order of C2 minus 2. We have not seen this molecule. C2 minus 2. Carbon atomic number is 6. 12 minus 2 means 14. C2 minus 2. So, sigma 1 s2, sigma star 1 s2, sigma 2 s2, sigma star 2 s2, pi 2 p x2 equal to pi 2 p y2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yes, 14 means pi star 2 p x1 equal to pi star 2 p y1, correct? 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 minus 2, 4, 6 by 2. It is... Uh, 8 minus 6 by 2, 1. Bond order is 1. C2 minus 2. 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry here. Pi star doesn't come here. What comes here? Sigma 2pz. Sigma 2pz. I forgot this. So electrons will be filled in sigma 2pz. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Bond, like bonding electrons and 2, 4. 4 antibonding. So 10 minus 4 is 6. 6 by 2 is 3. So C2 minus has got what bond order? C2 minus has got, we'll write it here. NO bond order is 2.5. Then O2 minus bond order is 1.5. Then C2 minus 2 bond order is 3. HE plus bond order will be 0 0.5. 
because helium four electrons, two in bond. So sigma one s two, sigma star one s two. This is a configuration. Plus means loss of one electron. Therefore, here there will be one. Two minus one by two is one by two. One by two is zero point five. Correct. So they have asked in the increasing order, which is having least H e plus. Then comes O two minus. Then comes N O and then comes C two minus two. H e plus O two minus N O C two minus two. Option D is the correct option. This is the correct option, right? Next, which of the following is isoelectronic? Where number of electrons are same? C carbon six plus oxygen eight uh, eight two is a sixteen sixteen plus six sixteen plus six so carbon dioxide CO two sixteen it is twenty two we will write it here. We will take it here only. So first option is CO two and NO two. Okay. So six electrons for carbon. Oxygen is having eight electrons into two. Sixteen plus two is twenty two. Sixteen plus six is twenty two. Correct. Then NO two. Six electrons for nitrogen. Oxygen is having eight to the sixteen. Again, it is having twenty two electrons. Next option. Yeah, no two minus so six plus sixteen plus one sixteen twenty two twenty three electrons and CO two CO two is how much it is twenty two third option CN minus carbon is six nitrogen is seven plus one fourteen electrons correct and then option CO CO carbon is six nitrogen is oxygen is eight It is also fourteen. Next option, SO two and CO two. SO two and CO two. Sulfur is sixteen plus oxygen two. Oxygen sixteen, 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 thirty two. Carbon is six plus oxygen eight into two sixteen. It is twenty two. So, which is isoelectronic in CN minus and CO? There are fourteen fourteen electrons. Even in CO two and NO two, there are fourteen fourteen electrons. Both could be isoelectronic. Both are isoelectronic. So, CN minus and CO, CO two and NO two. So, both the options are correct. So, which is the correct option? It is either option A or option C. Both are correct. Next question: Which species? Which species does not exhibit paramagnetism? Yes, where there are no unpaired electrons, that will be not paramagnetic. That will be not paramagnetic. So, if you see N two nitrogen, we will write and see the configuration itself. N two plus nitrogen fourteen plus one means thirteen electrons. Sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two. Then Pi two p x equal to pi two p y, so two four six eight ten twelve sigma two p z one correct. Then n two plus is done. O two minus sixteen seventeen electrons. Sigma one s two sigma star one s two sigma two s two sigma star two s two. Then sigma two p z two. Pi two p x two equal to pi two p y two, then pi star two p x equal to pi star two p y. Let us see seventeen two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen. So two and one. Okay, O two minus C O carbon six oxygen eight. So sixteen electrons. Carbon six oxygen eight fourteen electrons. I'm sorry. Sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two, sigma two p z two, pi two p x two equal to pi two p y two fourteen, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen yes. Then we have N O, nitrogen seven, oxygen eight fifteen. So sigma one s two, sigma star one s two. 
सिग्मा टू एस टू सिग्मा स्टार टू एस टू सिग्मा टू पी जेड टू एन ओ मीन्स नाइट्रोजन सेवन ऑक्सीजन एट फिफ्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन राइट ओके सॉरी टू पी एक्स टू इक्वल टू पाई टू पी वाई टू पाई स्टार टू पी एक्स इक्वल टू पाई स्टार टू पी वाई लेट मी सी टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन फिफ्टीन Yes, so these are the options where which is not paramagnetic. So it is having unpaired. It is paramagnetic, unpaired electron, paramagnetic, unpaired electron, paramagnetic. CO fourteen electrons. There is no unpaired electron in its molecular orbital. Therefore, it does not exhibit paramagnetism. So CO does not exhibit paramagnetism. The number of anti-bonding electron pairs in O two minus two molecular ion on the basis of molecular orbital theory. Yes, we will write it here only. O two minus two means what? O two sixteen electrons minus two means eighteen electrons. Okay, they have asked anti-bonding. Sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two, sigma two p z two, pi two p x two equal to pi two p y two, then pi star two p x equal to pi star two p y. I'll fill it accordingly. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So here also two, here also two, sixteen, eighteen. So how many anti bond non? How many bonding electrons? Two, four, six, eight, ten are bonding. How many anti bonding electrons? How many anti bonding electrons? Two, four, six, eight. So anti bonding electrons are eight. They have asked pairs. So it is four pairs of anti bonding electrons. Four pairs of anti-bonding electrons. Next question: Which of the following species is paramagnetic? We have seen just now. CO we had seen. O two minus two is here only. CO is what? CO is diamagnetic. Just now we have seen here does not exhibit uh, paramagnetism. O two minus two also we have seen that is also here only it is diamagnetic. And even CN minus. In our more last two questions, we have seen it is also not having any unpaired electrons. Whereas NO, nitrogen seven, oxygen eight, fifteen electrons. Sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two. Then sigma two p z two pi two p x equal to pi two p y. How many? Seven plus eight, fifteen electrons. Two four six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So two, two, pi star, two p x one. So there is one unpaired electron. So this is paramagnetic in nature. This is paramagnetic in nature. Is that right? Next question. Identify a molecule which does not exist. Twenty twenty question. Need. Okay. H e two. Simple molecules they have given. H e two means four electrons. Sigma one s two. Sigma Star one s two, lithium molecule three three six sigma one s two sigma star one s two sigma two s two, carbon six six twelve sigma one s two sigma star one s two sigma two s two sigma star two s two, then pi two p x equal to pi two p y, so two four six eight ten twelve, oxygen sigma one s two sixteen electrons sigma star one s Two sigma two s two sigma star two s two, then sigma two p z two pi two p x two equal to pi two p y two pi star two p x equal to pi star two p y. Two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen. So bond order. What is say which does not exist? Where bond order is zero, that will not exist, and we know this is only the right answer. So if the bond if bonding and anti bonding electrons are same, bond order will be zero. Two minus two by two, zero by two. Here, four minus two by two, it is one. Carbon one two four six eight eight minus four by two, bond order is two here. Oxygen here also bond order is two. Yes. So helium molecule bond order is zero. Zero bond order means what? Molecule does not exist. Which of the following diatomic molecular species has only pi bonds? According to molecular orbital theory, we know that beryllium bond order is what? It is one. So one means single bond. Single bond means there will be 
sigma bond. Okay. Then oxygen bond order is 2. Yes, I cannot speak it on the terms of bond order then according to molecular orbital theory. Let us see how we can explain it. Okay. So beryllium atomic number so be 2 they have said atomic number 4 so there are 8 electrons. So sigma 1 s 2 sigma star 1 s 2 sigma 2 s 2 sigma star 2 s 2. See this shell sigma 1 s 2 1, star 1 s 2 this is completely filled so I can write it like this also k k shell then sigma 2 s 2 sigma star 2 s 2. 2 s is not filled because 2 p has to fill completely then only it will be filled then only I can write L. Beryllium, then they have said oxygen, O2, 16 electrons, sigma 1 s2, sigma star 1 s2, or I can write KK shell, 2 s2, sigma star 2 s2, sigma 2 p z2, pi 2 p x2 equal to pi 2 p y2, pi star 2 p x1 equal to pi star 2 p y1. Okay, this is the configuration O2. N2 is 14, sigma 1 s2, sigma star 1 s2, sigma 2 s2, sigma star 2 s2, pi 2 p x2 equal to pi 2 p y2, sigma 2 p z2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Last option is C2, 12 electrons, sigma 1 s2, sigma star 1 s2, Sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 12 electrons. So if you see here, here in case of carbon, it contains a 2 pi bonds as it has 4 electrons in the 2 pi molecular orbitals. It has 4 electrons in the 2 pi molecular orbitals. Therefore, I can say C2 contains two pi bonds. C2 contains two pi bonds. Whereas here, last orbital is a sigma 2pz and here it is 1,1 one, one electron and here the, the question does not come. Therefore, the correct option is the correct option is it is C2. This had appeared in 2019. Which one of the following is paramagnetic? N2. It is diamagnetic. We have seen. Then H2, diamagnetic. Lithium, diamagnetic. O2 is paramagnetic because it is having pi star 2p x1, pi star 2p y1. Next question. Decreasing order of stability of O2, O2 minus O2 plus O2 minus 2. We have seen just now. I will not sit writing the bond, uh, I will not sit writing the configurations of all the molecules. I'll just uh, we can just discuss O2. What is the bond order? Then O2 minus, then O2 plus, and then O2 minus 2. So we have seen what is the bond order in O2? It is 2. Then O2 minus, it is 1.5. What is the bond order in O2 plus? We have seen it is 2.5. O2 minus 2, it is 1. Correct? O2 minus 2, it is 1. So what is the, see, we know that as a bond order decreases, decreases, as bond order decreases, bond energy also decreases. Therefore, I can say bond order is directly proportional to what? As bond energy decreases, stability of the molecule also decreases. Correct? It also decreases. Therefore, I can say bond order is directly related to stability. Excuse me. So I can say as bond order increases, stability of the bond increases. So which is having least stable? O2 minus 2 is having least stability. Then comes O2 minus, then comes O2, and then comes O2 plus. Because here the bond order is 1, here the bond order is 1.5, here the bond order is 2, and here the bond order is 2.5. So which is most stable? O2 plus 2 is most stable. So in our given options, it is in the increasing order. So I can say O2 plus is most stable, then comes O2, then comes O2 minus, and then comes O2 minus 2. Correct? So which satisfies this option? 
that will be the correct option. So correct option is O2 plus 2. Yes, this is the correct option. O2 plus 2, O2, O2 minus and then next. The correct bond order. Just now we have seen. What is the bond order in O2? O2 minus bond order is 1.5. O2 plus bond order is how much? 2.5. O2 plus 2. Bond order is how much? It is 3. Correct? So they have taken these species. Correct bond order in the following species. Which is having least bond order? O2 minus. So least bond order is for O2 minus. Then comes O2 plus and then comes O2 plus 2. Correct? So option B is the correct option. Option B is the correct option. Next question. Bond order of 1.5 is shown by. Which one shows bond order of 1.5? Just now we have seen. What is the bond order of O2? It is 2. What is the bond order of O2 plus? It is 2.5. Bond order of O2 minus 1.5. Bond order of O2 minus 2? It is 1. So which shows 1.5? It is O2 minus. This shows bond order of 1.5. Which of the following has minimum bond length? As bond order increases, bond length decreases. So O2, O2 plus, what is the bond order of O2 plus? Just now we have seen bond order of O2 plus is 2.5. Bond order of O2 minus is 1.5. Bond order of O2 minus 2 is 3. And O2 is 2. O2 minus 2 is 1. And O2 is 2. Correct? So where bond, bond, bond order is... As bond order increases, bond length decreases. So in which case the bond order is more? It is in O2 plus. So as bond order increases, bond length decreases. So bond length is less. So this option has got minimum bond length. It has got minimum bond length. Next question. The pair of species of oxygen and their magnetic behavior are noted. Which of the following presents correct description? O2 minus and O2 minus 2, both diamagnetic. No. Because we have seen in one of our, uh, whenever we were discussing our questions, what we have seen there, we have noted that, I will write it here. I will not sit writing all the configuration. We have noted if it is O2, they have taken O2 also. Okay. okay. So if it is O2, bond order and magnetic property. So if it is O2, bond order is 2 and it is paramagnetic. If it is O2 plus, bond order is 2.5 and it is paramagnetic. O2 minus, bond order is 1.5 and it is paramagnetic. O2 minus 2, bond order is 1, it is diamagnetic. O2 plus 2, bond order we have seen, it is 3 and it is also diamagnetic. Correct? So oxygen is what? Oxygen is having oxygen is atomic molecule, right? Oxygen is the atomic molecule. Therefore, we do not consider that part. Is that right? Okay. So let us see here now. So which is O2 minus and O2 minus 2. O2 minus is paramagnetic. O2 minus 2 is diamagnetic. So it is wrong. O2 plus O2 minus 2. O2 plus paramagnetic. O2 minus 2. Diamagnetic. Wrong. O2 plus and O2. O2 plus is paramagnetic. O2 is also paramagnetic. So this is the correct option. O and O2 minus 2. O2 minus 2 is diamagnetic. Oxygen. Uh, oxygen 8 electrons. 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. No, it is having. This is O2. Oxygen. Atomic molecule. We cannot consider that. So this is paramagnetic. So this is the correct option. This is the correct option because as they contain one and two unpaired electrons respectively. They contain one and two unpaired electrons respectively. Correct. Which of the following species does not exist under normal conditions? Be plus two, Be two, B two and lithium molecule. Why 
it does one of the following species does not exist be plus two if you see it is uh, perillium four electrons so four means one electron less three electrons so two minus one by two so one by two it exists be under normal conditions if you see the bond order comes out to beryllium has got uh, uh, four electrons four plus four is eight correct so write the configuration and see sigma one s two sigma star one s two sigma 2s2 and sigma star 2s2 eight electrons 2 4 4 minus 4 by 2 is 0 yes so this does not exist under normal conditions b2 we have seen there is one single bond lithium also we have seen there is one single bond beryllium if you want it is 4 uh, eight electrons eight means uh, plus one means seven so here it comes out to one electron less this is removed so 2 4 4 minus 3 by 2 it comes out it is 1 by 2, 0 0.5. So this also exists, but beryllium molecule does not exist under normal conditions. According to molecular orbital theory, which of the list ranks the nitrogen species in terms of increasing bond order? Okay, like how we have done for oxygen, let us do it for nitrogen and keep uh, keep um, mind keep in mind the with the things. N2, there are 14 electrons. Sigma 1 S2, sigma star 1 S2. Sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, then pi 2px equal to pi 2py, 2, 2 electrons, sigma 2pz2, correct? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So bond order 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 minus 4 by 2, it is 3 and it is diamagnetic. Okay. And 2 minus means what one electron more 15 rest all remains same this also comes here and last will be pi star 2 p x 1 this comes calculate the bond order so bond order when bonding electrons are 10 anti bonding is one more so 5 by 2 it is 2.5 so bond order is 2.5 and it is paramagnetic and 2 minus 2 means 16. So here it comes out to pi star 2px1 equal to pi star 2py1. So bonding electrons are same minus antibonding are more by 2. So 4 by 2 it is 2. Correct. So I can write here n2 n2 minus and n2 minus 2. So here n2 bond order is 3 n2 minus 2 is 2.5 and n2 minus 1 is 2.5 n2 minus 2 is 2 and this is what diamagnetic and these two are what paramagnetic okay please do remember this so which is having a less bond order n2 minus 2 so that is in having less bond order then comes n2 minus and then comes n2 correct 2 2.5 and 2 please do remember it for nitrogen also do remember it for nitrogen yes so that when you are solving the questions it will help you out so which is the correct answer the correct answer is it is option a n2 minus 2 less than n2 minus and less than n2 right order of dissociation energy from n2 to n2 plus okay n2 plus is also there then we will keep this also in mind here so n2 plus means what I will erase this out. Okay. N2 plus. Plus means 13 electrons. So everything comes same. Instead, sigma 2pz will have one electron less. Therefore, bonding 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 9 minus 4 by 2. 5 by 2, it is 2.5. So N2 plus also has 2.5. N2 plus has 2.5 bond order. Yes, and it is paramagnetic. So only nitrogen is diamagnetic. It's all ions are paramagnetic. So they are saying N2 to N2 plus. So when there is transition from N2 to N2 plus, they are asking dissociation order. What is happening to the bond order? N2 bond order is 3. N2 plus bond order is 2.5. So what is happening to the bond order? The bond order of N2, 
bond order of n2 is more than bond order of n2 plus therefore a whose dissociation energy will be more the dissociation energy we know that bond order is directly proportional to bond energy correct so the dissociation energy of n2 will be more than n2 plus the dissociation energy of n2 is more than n2 plus correct so n2 is more than n2 plus n2 and o2 are converted into mono cations n2 plus and o2 plus respectively which is wrong in o2 plus paramagnetism decreases n2 becomes n2 plus becomes diamagnetic in n2 plus nn bond weakens o2 plus oo bond increases bond order increases see just we have seen for o2 all the species and n2 all the species with that explanation we can say that diamagnetism is caused how it is caused due to unpaired electrons absence of unpaired electrons yes but in n2 plus if you see there is unpaired electron so n2 plus is what paramagnetic so which is wrong n2 plus becomes diamagnetic that is wrong statement because n2 plus is what it is paramagnetic it is paramagnetic n2 and o2 are converted into mono ions and ions n2 minus and o2 so what happens there n2 minus ion see we have seen only n2 is paramagnetic rest all become diamagnetic n2 minus ion rest so n2 is para diamagnetic rest all become paramagnetic we have seen just now so n2 minus becomes dia dia diamagnetic is the wrong statement because n2 minus ion will have one unpaired electron therefore it is paramagnetic so this is the wrong statement rest all are correct bond length increases in n2 minus nn bond weakens because bond order increases it decreases here bond order decreases all are correct only option b is wrong because it becomes paramagnetic the ground state electronic configuration of valence shell electrons in nitrogen molecule is written hence bond order in nitrogen molecule so 2 plus 2 4 4 n2 so what is the correct option bond order we know in nitrogen molecule it is 3 which of the following molecules has highest bond order what is the bond order in o2 minus the bond order in the bond order in o2 minus is 1.5 o2 it is 2 then o2 plus is 2.5 and o2 minus 2 is 1 highest bond order is in o2 plus it is in o2 plus which of the following compound shows presence of intramolecular intramolecular means within the molecule H2O2 if you see HCN if you see and concentrated acetic acid acetic acid formula i'm sorry acetic acid formula is what acetic acid formula is ch3cooh so ch3cooh h2o2 and hcn all of them will form intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular that is between the two atoms i'll show you ch3 c double bond o oh so hydrogen of one molecule forms hydrogen bond with oxygen of other double bond and c ch3 and here it is o h so here hydrogen will form intermolecular so with different molecules similarly with h2o and hcn but cellulose it forms intramolecular hydrogen bonding it forms intramolecular hydrogen bonding next question what is the sorry in xh and y in xh y x and y both are el electronegative elements then what is the correct option electron density on x will increase and h will decrease in both electron density will in increase it will decrease x density decreases h increases which is the correct option see this will be partial positive charge this will have partial negative charge and similarly in the other case so here it is partial negative so what will happen the electrons of covalent bonds are shifted towards more electronegative atom so y delta minus charge and h will have partial positive charge so which is the correct option electron density on x will increase and h will decrease option a is the correct option strongest hydrogen bond is shown by water ammonia hf hydrogen chloride h2s in h2s there is no hydrogen bond only 
it is between H and most electronegative atom, either fluorine or oxygen or nitrogen. Where it is more, where electronegativity is more. Among fluorine, oxygen and nitrogen, which is most electronegative, it is fluorine. So HF is the strongest hydrogen bond. Which one shows maximum hydrogen bonding? H2O, H2S, H2S, H2AC, HF, which shows maximum. HF, it will form only one intermolecular hydrogen bonding, whereas we have seen in H2O, how many hydrogen bonds are formed? We have seen water molecule, especially I had taken the example of water molecule only. How many water molecules, uh, H, O and H? Here, oxygen is capable of forming two hydrogen bonds with hydrogen of other water molecule, hydrogen of other molecule, and hydrogen will form Bond, hydrogen bond with oxygen of other water molecule. Here also hydrogen will form bond with oxygen of other molecule. So though fluorine is more electronegative, maximum strength for water, it is capable of forming how many? It is capable of forming four hydrogen bonds with other water molecules. Therefore, that is the maximum hydrogen bonding. So this is all about the questions we have discussed for this topic. In the next video, we will start with the next topic. Hope you will practice all the concepts and the questions regarding this concept. Thank you.